Cash is king. What does that mean to you? Keep as much cash as possible because you believe that cash is more valuable than any other form of investments. And the phrase cash is king gets especially popular during uncertain times. Why? Because uncertainty creates fear. You fear that the stock market is going to crash. You fear that the housing market is going to crash. Cash gives you a sense of certainty. So you want to keep as much as possible. That's your perception. If you step back and look at the bigger picture, cash is king actually has a very different meaning on their economy's level. And it is very important for you to understand the meaning at the economy's level as well, because it will affect your decision at the personal level. Let's start with personal finance, and then we will move into the economy. Number one, the three bucket theory. I believe everyone's net worth is made up of three buckets. The first bucket is cash. You need to fill this bucket before you think about any kind of investments. If you don't have any money in this bucket, then what you have is not an investment problem. You have an income problem. The best and the only investment you should make is to invest in yourself. You need to learn new skills so you can generate more income and fill that bucket with money. Once you fill that first bucket, you can now pour some money into the second bucket, which is liquid asset. Things like mutual fund and stocks. These investments are very easy to start, but there is a steep learning curve if you want to be very successful. So you need to be careful how much money you keep in this bucket because more than 80% of the people lose money in the stock market. If you have enough money in the second bucket, you can pour some into the third bucket, which is fixed asset, like real estate. The entry level is high because you have to at least have enough money for the down payment. But if you ask the millionaires, real estate remains the best investment you can make because more than 80% of the millionaires got their wealth by investing in real estate. Personal financing is all about deciding the money level in each of the three buckets. Some people decide to keep high level in the cash bucket. Some people may decide to just keep a minimum level in the cash bucket and pour money into the second and the third investment buckets as soon as they can. How much you keep in each bucket is a personal choice. Just keep in mind that your net worth is equal to all three bucket added together. During uncertain times, people like to keep a high level in the cash bucket. Is that always a good choice? Now, let's move to the bigger picture. Number two, cash flow creation. What is an economy? It is created when people exchange money for goods and services. When you get paid from your job, you go to a restaurant to eat. The waiter gets paid and he goes to buy a new phone, so on and so forth, and money circulates around. What if money stops circulating around? Our economy would be pretty dead, right? You see, the pandemic kills a lot of jobs and people had no money to spend. And for people who still have their jobs, they have nowhere to spend their money. Did you realize that you save a lot of money because you can go out to eat? 
and you have to scrap that big vacation in Europe. So money circulation was significantly reduced and the economy was pretty dead. You see, in order to stimulate the economy, the government needs to create that cash flow so money starts circulating around again. How does the government do that? By printing more money. They print money and give it to people who lost their jobs. Now they can spend the money and start that circulation again. That's why some industries are actually booming, like Amazon, supermarkets, delivery-related industries. The government prints money and give it to the bank so people can borrow money at very low cost. Qualified people can then have more money to invest. Say they buy real estate and that creates construction jobs so the construction workers now have more money to spend. And money starts circulating again. That's how our economy is going to recover with that cash flow creation. Of course, nothing comes for free and there is a price to pay. You see, a large amount of money is printed and injected into the economy to create that circulation. But our economic output cannot increase at the same rate as the money injection. So there is more money chasing the same amount of goods. What does that mean? More demand, less supply. Price go up. That's inflation. And the cash you have on hand is going to worth less and less. It depreciates. That's exactly why investors would pour the money from their cash bucket into the investment buckets to avoid cash depreciation. Remember how real estate prices skyrocketed around the world after the money printing post-financial crisis in 2009? So yes, cash is king. But the key is how you make the best use of your cash. Leave it in your cash bucket, pour it into the stock bucket, or pour it into the real estate bucket. The decision is yours. If you enjoyed this video and would like to learn more about investment, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell now.